Hey, what's going on everyone? And welcome to this week's episode of Backwoods Escape. So in this episode, I want to talk about something that can provide you some peace of mind. So very recently, I was about to start going down a hiking path, a very narrow hiking path where there wasn't a lot of space between one side and the other, lots of bushes, and it's the middle of summer, 90 degrees, 95 degrees. What that means is that it's snake season, rattlesnake season specifically where I live, and that's dangerous, right? And this is something that's been very top of mind for me simply because I actually had a very close encounter with a rattlesnake last year. I was in bear country, so I was being very cautious. I was hanging all my trash and any food items about 100 yards away from my encampment. When I was leaving, I went to go grab my trash bag and my food bag, and I'm pulling down the cord and you know i'm right next to this tree and then just out of the corner of my eye i see something weird move at the base of my foot and i look down and i realize it's a rattlesnake i am literally my foot is literally this far away from that rattlesnake and i'd already been standing there for a number of seconds at any point in time that rattlesnake could have bitten me and i was actually seven miles away from my car there was not a soul nearby which is actually how i like it I like just being immersed in nature but also in that situation it would have been very bad not having any people nearby it made me realize okay I, if i had gotten bitten you know i don't know if i could have made it back to my car seven miles away uphill so it was a very eye-opening experience and so it's just something that i don't want to encounter again luckily the snake didn't do anything and ended up being very docile i was able to get my bag down and it was very chill the whole time never actually even rattled at me um, so I was very lucky, very fortunate, right? But I can't depend on luck. So I have to create my own protection, right? So that's where snake gators come in. I'm specifically talking about the snake gators from Razor Gator. That's this that you can see right here. I put those on and then you can go ahead and walk down and you'll be protected from snake bites. So the way that this is built, um, it actually has 13 panels across the whole way and they are made from polycarbonate inserts and so when a snake obviously wraps around your entire leg and there's a cover for your foot so you just strap those on and you are protected from snake bites which is really great now I personally have not been able to test this myself I'm not going to purposely go out and look for a rattlesnake and see if it can penetrate this they do seem like if a rattlesnake were to you know bite into this they wouldn't get very far and you would ultimately be safe so it does give you that added peace of mind so there is that that is the good thing Thing about this product now some other benefits on top of the peace in mind and protection that the snake gators give you is that they are very lightweight i didn't feel that they were hindering me in any way shape or form other than a couple of instances i kind of forgot i even had them on um, and they have a one size fits all so it's a very easy to shop for it's not a perfect product so far at least in my experience so as i was hiking along these straps kept on getting loose and i continuously had to tighten them right so as much as i'd like for it to be just a one tighten situation and then i'm done i can keep on walking that way you know every like you know 45 minutes they would get just super super loose and had to retighten them so i did think that was a downfall and actually you'll see right here that the second clip on right there actually broke off so i was going through some brush i was trying to get to this peak to check out this really good view there was some very thick brush and so i'm walking through it and it snapped off so it hasn't been a 100 positive experience at least if you're doing some hiking you know very extreme hiking it doesn't seem to be durable enough to kind of deal with that situation now on their website the way they promote this is that if you're doing gardening work mowing your lawn and you're in an area where there's rattlesnake they show people wearing this i think in those situations this would be an absolutely perfect product like i said if you're doing this, any kind of intense hiking i just haven't seen that so far that these hold up so i like them they do add some peace of mind i will keep on using them moving forward once i actually fix the clip but at the same time i'm also going to look for other brands out there to see if they're a little bit more durable because so far this one hasn't really held up to the test but Regardless, look into Razor Gators if you ever find yourself in Rattlesnake Country. Give yourself that peace of mind. Don't leave it up to chance. So you can either check these out. Like I said, you know, they're okay. If I were to give them a star rating, I would give it, you know, probably like two and a half stars out of five. But I'll have the link down there regardless. You can also do your own research and maybe there's another brand that might be a little bit more appealing to you. So that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.